Welcome back to Celebify, where we dive into the most fascinating celebrity stories. Today, we're uncovering a poignant chapter in the life of Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll that touches on mystery, tragedy, and conspiracy. Stay with us to explore the truth about Elvis's identical twin brother, Jesse Presley. Elvis Presley, universally hailed as the king of rock and roll, remains one of the most legendary figures in entertainment history. His larger-than-life image goes beyond just blue suede shoes and hits like burning love. Many details about Elvis's life, particularly his family affairs, remain lesser known. For a period, his estate was in disarray, though efforts by his ex-wife, Priscilla Presley, and his daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, have been made to restore its glory. Meanwhile, his granddaughter, Riley, has carved out a successful career in acting. A lesser known aspect of Elvis Presley's life is that he was born with an identical twin, Jesse, who tragically died at birth. This heartbreaking event had a profound and enduring impact on Elvis, shaping his emotions and perhaps even his musical expressions throughout his life. The bond between twins, often deeply intuitive and strong, suggests that Jesse's absence was a shadow that followed Elvis as he navigated the peaks and valleys of his meteoric fame. As of February 18, 2022, Elvis's status as a cultural icon remains unshaken, solidifying him as a perpetual source of fascination and conjecture, even 45 years following his demise. Among the more sensational ideas is the belief by some of his most enthusiastic fans that Elvis might have faked his own death, living in obscurity, a conspiracy that intriguingly implicates his deceased twin, Jesse. The theory unfolds with the claim that Jesse Presley did not actually perish at birth. Rather, it is suggested that he was surreptitiously kept out of the public spotlight, at times stepping into the limelight as a body double for Elvis. These conspiracy theories, as captivating as they are, lack robust evidence to support their claims. While they fuel the imaginations of some passionate followers, no substantial proof exists to support the idea that Elvis or Jesse continues to live on, except in the beloved memories of those who adored them. This lore surrounding Elvis and his twin encapsulates the blend of mystery and myth that often surrounds legendary figures long after they have left the public stage. Elvis Presley's origins were steeped in humble beginnings, a stark contrast to the vast wealth his daughter, Lisa Marie, would later enjoy. His parents, Vernon and Gladys Presley, faced financial hardships when they discovered they were expecting identical twins, a situation that would challenge their resilience in profound ways. The birth took place in the family's unassuming two-room house in Tupelo, Mississippi, setting the stage for a poignant moment in music history. Tragedy struck first when Jesse, the initial twin, was born stillborn, casting a shadow over what should have been a joyous occasion. 35 minutes later, Elvis made his entrance into the world, instantly becoming an only child in a family already marked by loss. The Presley family's financial struggles continued to manifest in the aftermath of the twins' birth. With limited means, they could not afford a traditional burial for Jesse. Instead, he was laid to rest in a makeshift casket, a simple shoebox. This poignant detail underscores the depth of the family's poverty. Jesse was interred at Priceville Memorial Gardens in Tupelo, where for a time, his grave remained unmarked. It was a humble memorial for a life that had barely begun. Eventually, a stone was placed to mark the spot where he lay. It bore no name, yet it held a significant place next to the graves of his great aunt, Susan Presley, and great uncle, Noah Presley, connecting him forever to his family's lineage. This backdrop of early adversity and personal tragedy would color Elvis's perception of life and fame, imbuing his music and public persona with an undercurrent of vulnerability and a relentless drive for success that resonated deeply with audiences worldwide. Many biographers contend that the early death of Elvis Presley's twin brother, Jesse, cast a long shadow over his entire life, influencing him in ways both inspiring and burdensome. On one hand, the absence of his brother may have ignited Elvis's relentless pursuit of superstardom, providing a kind of silent impetus to excel in a life his twin never got to live. On the other hand, it is widely speculated that Elvis's myriad personal struggles, including his battles with addictions and his engagement in eccentric behaviors, were intensified by a deep-seated survivor's guilt. 
Dr. Peter Whitmer, a clinical psychologist who specializes in the dynamics of twin relationships, particularly those affected by death, probes deeply into these psychological underpinnings in his book, Inner Elvis. This comprehensive psychological investigation into Elvis Aaron Presley's life uncovers the layers of psychic trauma that not only thrust Elvis into the spotlight, but also ensnared him in a complex web of personal turmoil. Whitmer suggests that Jesse's death acted as both a catalyst for Elvis's meteoric rise and a perpetual source of emotional pain that may have contributed to his later life's erratic patterns and unhealthy coping mechanisms. Whitmer's analysis paints a portrait of a man driven by an extraordinary talent and an equally powerful undercurrent of loss and responsibility. This duality, according to Whitmer, facilitated Elvis's ability to connect deeply with his audiences, tapping into a universal sense of longing and loss, while simultaneously feeding a private world filled with obsessions and dependencies that the public only glimpsed but never fully understood. The narrative of Elvis's life, as explored by Whitmer, reveals a complex figure whose dazzling public persona was mirrored by a troubled and tumultuous inner life, deeply influenced by the brother he never knew but always felt the absence of. Whitmer posits that the tragedy of his twin's death at birth was a catalyst that profoundly shaped Elvis's life, describing Jesse as a restless spirit who eventually haunted all of Presley's relationships. He suggests that the death of a twin can leave the surviving sibling feeling guilty, either from a belief that they caused the death or simply because they survived while their twin did not. This sense of carrying a burden for two was echoed by Elvis's mother, who once remarked that he was living for two people. Reportedly, Elvis often visited his brother's grave, a poignant reminder of his ongoing struggle with these complex emotions. Additionally, some speculate that Elvis's shyness and lack of self-confidence were further signs of his loneliness and the guilt he felt over Jesse's death. Author Vernon Chadwick has noted, we do know that twins who lose their siblings often suffer many problems and disorders later in life. Discussing Elvis's twin helps us understand both the remarkable ability Elvis had to connect with his audience, as if he were reaching out to his absent brother, and the profound sense of emptiness that single twins often feel. Friends and relatives from Elvis's hometown of Tupelo have mentioned that Elvis carried guilt over the death of his twin brother, Jesse Guerin, a burden that likely contributed to his later dysfunctional behaviors. Some accounts even suggest that Elvis felt haunted by Jesse. It's said that Elvis would converse with Jesse in his room at night and once heard a voice he believed to be his brother's. Adding to the intrigue are the conspiracy theories suggesting that Jesse never died and that Elvis occasionally used him as a stand-in for interviews. Meanwhile, some suggest that Jesse's spirit acted as a kind of guardian angel for Elvis, propelling him towards success. While Jesse may have provided spiritual support, this doesn't negate the deep feelings of guilt and the profound emptiness, the black hole, that many twinless twins experience. We may never fully understand how Elvis felt about Jesse's death or the extent to which it impacted him. However, his actions speak volumes about his love. He ensured Jesse had a place at Graceland, marking his grave there. In this way, at least, the brothers are reunited. What do you think? Could Jesse's spirit have been the guardian angel behind the king's throne? Was Jesse the unseen force in Elvis's life? So what are your thoughts on this? Sound off in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for celebrity news and updates every day.